Hello my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I'm going to be painting this pretty floral. Because there's a lot of elements in this painting, there's the basket and all this array of flowers, I've decided that I'm going to split the video in two. Part one is going to be on how to create this pretty basket and part two is going to be on the flowers and finishing the painting. In this video, part two, I'm going to be showing how I created this array of flowers and how I finished the painting. If you would like to see how I created and finished this pretty floral, stay with me and let's paint together. The colors that I use are titanium white, Taylor Green, Brilliant Red, Magenta, Medium Yellow, Burnt Amber or Brown, and Lamp Black or Black. Okay, now that the basket is done, I'm going to continue to draw the flowers. I got some brown paint in there somehow, but that's okay. There's going to be flowers in there. To draw the flowers, I'm going to use geometrical forms because I feel that's the easiest way just like we did a, a square for the basket okay so here is the center of the surface and my flowers are going to come up this way and up this way so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to draw a triangle coming from this corner towards this corner and down towards the basket, like that. The second triangle is going to come from, from this triangle and it's going to be joining this line and it's going to come this way, half, half towards the basket. And this area here like um, a triangle in itself but I'm going to round it a bit like that this um, is going to be covered with greenery I'm going to pick up the green the green color that I'm using today and I'm going to add a drop of black because I want this green very very dark I still want it green, but a very dark green. And with this green, I'm going to just dab the brush to create the illusion of, of greenery in here. And I want to leave open areas. Just dabbing. If you have a sponge, you can do this with a sponge as well. Now, with my flat brush, I have some of the dark green, and I'm going to draw a line following this side of the triangle that I did. And I'm going to add a branch, and I'm going to do a couple more coming towards this other triangle and towards this line here and you can add more more branches maybe like that i'm going to paint some leaves just by pressing the brush and i'm adding some movement to the brush i don't want these leaves to be static and i'm going to do the same in here I'm going to let this dry. You can use a hair dryer to speed up the process. Okay, I think my paint is relatively dry and we're going to start adding the flowers. From this point of the handle, I'm going to draw a triangle coming this way to this corner 
and to this corner, almost to the end of the basket. And in here, there's going to be three roses. One is going to be in here. I'm drawing um, a circle and there's another one in here. And another one in, in there. Okay, so I'm going to draw a smaller circle inside each circle and this is going to be the center of my rose. I'm going to add some leaves coming down. These are like a, like a triangular shape. Florals look very pretty with lots of leaves. Going to do another leaf coming up there. I mean, this this is up to you. I'm going to draw another another triangle coming from these rows towards this second branch, and it's going to come down in here, joining this area. And I'm going to have three more roses here. There's going to be these are smaller roses. There's one there and one here and another one here. And again, I'm going to draw the center of my rose, my roses in there. And I can add some leaves. The nice thing of drawing with chalk is if you don't like it, you can just sweep it away with a dry brush. Okay, so I have three roses in this triangle and three roses in this triangle. There's going to be the last triangle coming from the pot. Something like this. Sticking this way. And I'm going to draw a small rose in here. This one can be facing down, so I'm going to put the center of the rose in here. And there's another rose going to be in here. Another circle. And another rose in here. This one is going to be facing this way, so I'm I'm drawing my circle towards that way and another rose in here and there's the center of that rose so in here i have one two three four i'm going to leave this area open and this area open to draw the small daisies and flowers but we can add more leaves coming this way and this way and we're going to add little flowers in those other areas. Of course, you can do as many as you want to. I have some magenta on my round brush. And I'm going to decide which ones are going to be my pink roses. This one is going to be pink. So I'm painting the center of the rose with the magenta. This one is going to be pink. This one is going to be pink. Of course, you can decide on the colors yourself. This one is going to be pink. And this one is going to be pink. And I'm going to mix some magenta with white. Create a lighter magenta. Not too light, but a shade or two lighter. And with this, I'm going to paint the outer petals. This helps me to see my, my rows, where my, the center is going to be, where the outer petals are going to be, and what way the rose is facing. This one is going to be red. So I'm going to add red on the center. And maybe this one can be red. And 
gonna mix in some of the red with white to create a shade or two lighter. And I'm going to define the outer petals of the rose. And I have three roses left and they might be yellow, but because yellow is so translucent, I'm going to mix yellow with some red, create an orange color, and I'm going to do the center. And these are all suggestions. You can do your roses any color you you prefer. This is just what what I'm what I'm doing here. I'm going to add some white to this color and yellow. And I'm going to do the outer petals. And I can even add a little yellow rosebud somewhere, maybe here. And I'm just going, going to do it like a small triangle, like there. Now at this point, you can assess your painting and decide, am I happy with these roses? Do I want more? Am I happy with the colors? You can change anything at this time. And like I said, I'm leaving some areas open here and here to add some smaller flowers. While the first coat on the roses dries, I'm going to start painting the leaves and I'm going to use this small flat brush for that. And I'm picking up some floating medium to help the colors blend. And I have green on one corner, yellow on the other, and I'm going to blend these two colors to add white with the yellow. I'm going to have the yellow facing this side because the light is coming from this way and I'm going to paint half of the leaf. I'm pressing the brush and sweeping the color and I'm coming to the chisel point of the brush and I'm going to do the other side. This time I have the dark green facing the outside of the leaf. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to sweep my brush, creating the other side of the leaf. And I'm coming to the chisel of the brush. And then I'm going to draw the vein of the leaf in the middle here. And my first leaf is done. Now I can always adjust the colors, make them darker or lighter. And I think I'm going to make the green a little bit darker, maybe by adding a drop of black. And I can see if I prefer that. I can leave this one like that, but I'm gonna try this one, see if I like this one with a little bit darker on the green. And I'm going to do the side of the leaf. And I think I like the green a little darker. And that's the nice thing when you mix your own colors, you can adjust them any way you want. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Let's do this one. And I'm going to finish these leaves off camera the same way that I did the other ones. I have finished some of the outer leaves. Let's paint some of the roses. Let's paint all of the roses. For my roses, I'm going to use the same small angle brush. I find it much easier to paint roses with an angle brush myself. I'm going to pick up some of the floating medium. I'm going to remove the excess. I'm picking up some white at the toe of the brush and the magenta at the heel. 
and I'm going to blend both colors on the brush. I'm going to start with the outer petals. I'm going to press my, my brush with the white towards the outside and create the first outer petal. And I need more pink on the heel, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do this petal on the side. I have lots of tutorials on how to paint roses if you want to check them out. And I'm going to do the lower petal. I'm going to do the back petal. And another petal, smaller than the first one. And I'm going to add another one, a third one. And I'm going to close the bud. And I'm going to add some side petals to close the rows. And my first rose is done. I'm going to do the red one the same way. This time I have white at the toe and red at the heel. For the orangey yellow roses, I'm going to pick up red at the toe and yellow at the heel. I'm also going to add white with the yellow to add more opacity to the yellow. I'm going to continue painting the roses this way. Okay, my friends, I have finished, well, all of the roses except the rose bud. My angled brush is loaded the same way as I did the orange and yellow roses. And I'm just going to press my brush and slide following the shape of the rose bud. And I'm going to do this again here. And this is all I do for the rosebuds. I'm going to finish the roses by adding sepals and stems and leaves. And I'm going to be using my flat brush. I have some floating medium, green on one corner of the brush and yellow on the other. And I'm also going to add white with the yellow to give the yellow more brightness and more opacity and i'm going to add some sepals pressing the green at the bottom and just sliding the brush up and i'm going to add some coming from behind and i'm going to add the bottom part and some, some leaves. And I'm going to do the same for the rosebud. 
and I'm going to press and slide creating the sepals and some small leaves and the same for this one These little details really add to the floral. And I'm going to continue doing this to my small roses as I see they need it. And I'm going to add some small leaves. Just have fun with this with your floral leaves and sepals and branches really add to a floral in my opinion and I'm also going to add some smaller leaves around here and even in here Going to add some branches coming out. I'm now going to pick up a small round brush and I have white on the brush and I'm going to start creating small flowers in here like small daisies. I'm creating the petals. The movements that I'm doing are going towards the center of the flower. And these little flowers are really going to, to add a pretty detail in this basket. And I'm going to add some down here as well. And now I'm not concerned about how many petals I'm giving to each flower, really. I'm even going to add a few up here. And step back and look at your basket and see if you're happy, if you want to add anything else. I'm going to add a couple more hanging this way. And with the back of a smaller brush, I'm going to pick up yellow. And I'm going to dab the centers of the small daisies. And I can add a little bit of red to make the centers more orange if I prefer, so they pop more. Make sure they all have a nice center. And I'm going to use a small flat brush. I'm going to pick up some, I'm going to pick up white and green. create a pale bluish green and with this I'm going to add leaves to the daisies and I can also add some stems if I want to I'm giving them a stem to the ones that I I see just a few branches too coming out give them more energy so I'm going to pick up some green 
and brown to create the dark green. And I'm using a flat brush. I'm going to add a few more of these dark leaves. I, I like them. I think they make the painting look very pretty. The last thing I'm going to do to give the basket more dimension, I'm going to add some shadows from the plants and the leaves coming down onto the basket. For that, I'm going to use an angle brush. I'm going to pick up blending gel and brown just on the corner and black. Just a light mix of those two and I'm going to blend this color just keeping it on the toe of my brush and I'm going to add shadows on this side of the basket. I'm bringing it in towards the basket. I'm also going to add a shadow from the leaves. And the roses. And I'm following the leaf and then I'm coming down. Because this gives the, the leaves more dimension. It makes them like the leaf is lifted from the basket. And that gives a very pretty effect on the basket. Once the paint is all dry, with a dry brush, I'm going to sweep away the chalk marks that I don't need anymore. Make sure the paint is dry when you do this. Okay, my friends, the basket with flowers painting is done. I splatter a little bit of orange pink and yellow around the flowers. I'm going to give you a close up so you can see. I find splattering some of the color gives it a very pretty effect. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy doing this painting. I hope you learn something new. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment below. I always look forward to your comments. Share with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.